Jackie. Why? Jackie, come on, do it. I got it. Hey, yeah, my name's Jackie Broles. There, I did it. Now talk about Trump. I don't. I don't. This the last place in the world. I don't want to talk about Trump. Jackie. Do you know it. that there are people out there who who not a lot of them, but who listen to us every week, I, and they've come to depend on us. I and we've know. been gone. Things happen. Look, things happen. A I, lot of things have happened, and we ain't been here to give our white male, southern, straight, Christian right. perspective on it. How yeah. do people even know how to react? I don't know how to react. I kept my own stuff in my own life happening, and I don't. I can't keep up with all the. Oh, cry me a river. Listen here. Now, I let you bring this thing in here and set it down. I said I was talking it for a little bit, but I got things I got to do. Uh, first off, is, uh, are, the, are we going now? Is somebody listening on here? That, that's not how it works, but yes. Well, let me say you right now, sorry. Uh, hadn't checked in with you, hadn't heard from you in a while, but I think, you know, as far as excuses go, things happen in people's life. My, uh, Mama Bros, I'm sad to say, passed on. And, uh, I, well, she, you know, she took ill. We know, you know, she's up there in age. She was the oldest. How uh, was she the oldest woman in, in my, Murfreesboro? Well, in my family, yeah. It had been Murfreesboro. I think she was. I think. I think she was. Was it, 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 She was a hundred and sixteen years old. I feel like she'd been holding at one hundred and sixteen for a while. Is that true? Well, it felt like it to everybody because once you once you get up to like a Let's just be honest. Once you get up to a hundred, from there on, it don't seem like you. You know, you get that far. It seems like you just kind of hover there. Is what the way it feels to me, in a way. But bless her heart, she's up there now. She took just took ill, and I had to tend to her, and 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 she, and she passed on. And uh, good Lord decided it was time to take her, and and it took her on up there. And uh, I'm glad she's with him. That's where she needs to be. You know uh, where I need to be. Right now, uh, we're here at the, you brought this stuff in here, and we're in the sausage, you know, sausage biscuit, sausage wheel, whatever you want to call it, room with all Yeah, them. I need, hey, who brought these sausage biscuits? Don't, don't holler in here. That's who brought spoke. these sausage don't biscuits? I need, you have any more of these? I told them, I said we're going to talk on, in, on oh, the thing. Oh, shit, no, they're good. Just, I was just wondering if you had any more of them. Down People will be, it's vision and out going to be coming and going. It'll be going, coming and going all late. Jackie says somebody else will bring some, probably better even. I didn't Thank say you. anything about that. Who was no, that? I don't know. I'm here talking on the thing. If I was she out makes there, good sausage biscuits. If I was out there greeting and talking to people, then that, I told them, I, I told you, and I told the nice people here. It, don't. Why you bring beer in here? I know you like to drink beer when we talk on this, but you have a little respect, good Lord. And I know you, what you're going to say. This ain't the actual funeral, and it ain't. It's a vision, but still. At least have a decency to what we used to do. If the funeral get to, you know, you'd go out to the car and take your, you know, that's, kind of beer. That's where I got my one-hitter. Your what? Listen, your mom ain't going to care if I have a beer or... It ain't about Two. whether she cares or not. She's passed on. She she's gone. I'm here. I'm still here. I, no, I don't. I, I don't care. What I you know think. you don't give a damn what I think. You're holding up real good, Jackie. Uh, as far as I can tell, uh, even though I haven't discussed it with you or offered you any condolences or seen you until today when uh-huh. I brung all this audio equipment into the funeral home. I'm doing all you the do do it pretty good. You know that you know all you had to do was ask and I'd be there for you. I didn't ask. You said you, I, it'd been how many weeks or whatnot, and I like I said, I'm tending to her. Fuck. Watch put I some of this pimento. Who brung this pimento? Somebody brought some pimento cheese and they Just put some damn jalapenos on it. Don't put ho- one. Hey, sit this. here. No, don't come here and put some. I'm gonna put some of this pimento cheese, uh, jalapeno on it, and put it on a damn sausage biscuit. Right, now you listen, eat that. Here, you ask me to sit here, here and talk on this thing. I ain't got no knife. If I'm you want to spend a whole damn fingers. hour talking about the pimento cheese and the sausage wheels, then fine, you do it. I'm gonna go out there and greet people. Then you want me to come in here and talk about 
whatever the hell's in the news, and I can't even keep up with it anymore, and I'll do it. And he got me hollering here, and I told him, I said, I'm going to talk in the thing for an hour, and I'm He's trying to fine. tell him they don't know what the hell that means. Don't nobody know what any of this is. Mr. Brickmeat just come out. He's fine. Mr. Brickmeat runs a funeral home. I know who he is. He's just upset. He's out of his head I'm with not grief. Up. Mr. Brickmeat will be done here in a minute. I told him I'd give him four to five minutes to talk on this thing. This thing here, yes, sir. He, don't he know doesn't know what, the what hell it is. Hell it is. Well, I don't either, to be honest with you. I know it's all, it's all a computer. We're going to talk about Trump. No, no, we don't like him. Oh, man, that didn't go over. He left in a huff, didn't he? Well, uh, yeah. Shit, that, people, somebody just took their flowers and left. Let me just get this out while we're here because this is No, Jackie doesn't like him. I, I, well, I don't, but it, it ain't the place to talk about politics unless it's here Man, on the you thing. Need to don't watch his it. language in a funeral home, lady. Let's watch. Don't tell anybody else how to watch it. Talk it in here. Well, she don't need to be fucking cussing in Watch that damn mouth. It ain't a church, but it's close to it. What's the difference between a funeral home and a church? Uh, singing. There ain't no singing in a funeral. Sometimes they come up and yeah, say wildwood wild flower or whatever. Or one or two people come up there. Don't everybody open the hymnals and sing. They Supper don't have time. a don't have a song leader in here. No, yeah, no and, song leader. That's true. You don't yeah. have Sunday school. And also, you don't drag a bunch of food out in the church. You do it in the back or on the grounds, but you don't have it. You know, here. You know, have a right there. You know, pulling out of your pocket when you're sitting there. Oh, that reminds me. You want something? Some of these hearty sausage biscuits I got? No, I, I had four sausage. I brought stuff. I didn't know how many sausage biscuits there was gonna be, and whenever somebody dies, I get to craving a sausage biscuit. So I stopped at Hardy's and got some extra sausage biscuits, but I didn't want to put them out right. so that other people would take him sausage biscuits because I might want. Because you know a Hardy's sausage biscuits pretty damn well, good. Well, they're so. good, but I'm full. I don't want one. Right so now. I got them all stuffed in uh, my pockets. Uh, it's a good thing I wore these cargo shorts. Why are you wearing shorts in the funeral home? I know it's great. One thing, time. I get nervous and I sweat. The back of my knees sweat. Well, you're supposed to have... Look, let me just get this over with right now. This where at Brick Meat Funeral Home, and they're kind enough to... Uh, I give them a lot more money than money than $25, I'll tell you right now. She has some insurance going to cover some of these stuff, but, you know, funeral will run, run you high. It's what it is. Well, what'd she leave you, her house? So that's the house and us. There's other stuff I ain't even had time to look into all that. I got to talk to some lawyer beneficiary, all that stuff. I don't know oh now. There's, there's me. Don't talk I got to two, any lawyers. I got two brothers, one dead, one still living. And he been he come to go. He wasn't here for any of the time. But you watch that shit the way it'll be. I sit there and look after her, the, the, you know, past few weeks. And she'll leave everything to him. And, and that's fine. I don't have a problem with it. If, if that's what she wants to do, she do whatever the hell she wants. But he don't ever come around. You know, he come he come like once every, what, twice a year or something like that. And I got that, and I got a half-sister, but she ain't related to, to, to her half, so she ain't going to have nothing to do with it anyway. Well, she, you know, why should she? Unless she, you know, I ain't close to her or nothing, so. Where she live? Huh? Where's she at now? Somewhere down. She either she was in Florida for a while, but I yeah. think she's in uh, Georgia somewhere now. But I don't know. Where's Bashful Brother Brawls? Where's he just all over? Oh, you know him. He's you know. How he, old the fuck is he now? I watch Shit. him. I t- come on, don't just what just trifle a little bit while you're here. When you get done, we go back down the basement and the new store. Well, you can use the language, and I'll tell you. To stop it and watch your mouth, and but just while we're here, just try not to do that, all right? Bashful Bradley Brawls. Well. What he used to do, sell insurance? Now, he used to, yeah, be up and he stayed up in Manchester for, I used to think he'd, he and it, when he and his wife broke up, he didn't tell nobody for a year, and he was living in a, a hotel, motel in Manchester for a while, and he used to drive like he'd come all the way down from Knoxville, up Johnson City, up further, up, you know, up oh, right up there. He was just staying in Manchester. That's all. It, the, somebody said, well, no, he he was sitting over there, and I went and saw him. He, there's a little place he liked at Cheeseburgers there, and I knew that he'd stop there on the way, and I said, no, he was there the other night. I said, no, he lives up. 
I went over there, saw him sitting there, and I, you know, what the hell are you doing here? And he tried to make something else up. And I, 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 you know, when you got can like that, you can tell something ain't right. And he finally told me, he said, well, she can't. And I said, well, what the hell do I care? I mean, I, I, why do you think I give a damn whether you living in Johnson City with her or Manchester by yourself? It don't make a damn bit of difference to me. I don't know who you're trying to show off for. Shoulder to cry on. I don't know. Hell, I don't know. What it is. Where Can we get some of them cheeseburgers? If you're going up to Manchester, I think it's still there. I don't know if it's the same. I'm probably under new management. That's been years ago. Something about somebody dying make me hungry as hell. Well, there's plenty of food in here. Why you got what some in this? your pocket? You, they said the refrigerator, and then there's all over donuts and all that, and then the sauce as well, and then there's that, oh, and then you got well. your pockets full of hardies. Somebody brought a casserole or something. But we won't thank a brick mate funeral home um, here. And, and I, again, I give them a lot more than twenty-five dollars. They figure they well, I will take twenty-five dollars off. And hell, I tell you what, I'll That's take whatever a, I can get. Drop in a bucket. Well, you know, it, it, it more drop somehow coming some other way. I'll take this one for this. That's that's all I can do right now. But sure enough, that's the sponsor on here. You going to bury all that Sarah Polly paraphernalia with your mama? What do you mean going to bury it? If, she, if that's what she wanted, that's what she said in the will. Was it in her will? Something like it, yeah. That's all going. If that's what she wants, that's, that's what she gets, you know. Is this the sweet hereafter music they're playing on the organ? No, they, they brought something, I, and I know she requested that. This is just regular, you know, whatever it is. Long-time listeners will know that Jackie's mama loved the sweet hereafter. Well, it's a movie, and I should, Lord knows she made me sit through it for a time. I thought it was a little slow. I just I tuned out, but she loved that movie. She watched it over and over again, and that was, that was something that was in the well for sure. It was, she also told me all the time, because, you know, when you get up in age, you expect it to happen in a minute. And, and she always did. She said, well, you know, when it come my time, I want you to play up music that's in that movie. I love that music, Sweet Hair After. I love it. Paul, what, is, Paul, what is her name? Sarah I even... Polly. She's back in, the, uh, back in the news. Not for good reasons. Well, I don't even I mean, wish she it. did great. She fine. Uh, she looked like she was a little girl in this. She's an older lady. The movie been out for a while. She had it on an old VHS. Uh, you know, put it in, the, don't, not even a DVD. She How'd had. she even know how to do that? They said, what do you think she didn't know what told her, you know, past few, past couple of years, I had to put that in for me, you know. That you sort could of go thing. over there and she'd tell you the story of it. Well, she walked, that's her favorite thing. She, you know, some people like soap opera, some people like sports, some people like, you know. She like after. She liked watching that movie over and over again. She'd go on and on about it. Oh, every one of them children. And I thought they did sound sad to me. She had died in the snow. They all of them died in the school bus. Every one but one, you know. And then they were doing something to her. Or somebody did something wrong. With lawyer. I don't know. She's the one that watched it over and over again. I had to sit through it at least two or three times. But whatever movie was in there, she said to play that. But something was wrong. Went and got first off, couldn't nobody find where you get it. And I said, Where the hell are you gonna get that? And nobody knew where it was. And they said, Well, I guess I guess where I found somebody found it on uh, YouTube's. And I said, well, I could take that and put it on a, a CD and you can give it to them and that'll play it on a funeral. And hopefully it'll be ready by then. Because it's like I said, it's great right now. But well, the one that they brought down, it just skipped or something. It didn't play right in the player. It wasn't the right thing. I, hell, I don't know. There's a lot of details you got to think of. When well, when you, somebody, when you know, we in bereavement, when you know, you got to, and your, and your brother's, Wherever he is, you know. Bashful Bradley Bro. Well, wherever he is, he's too, you know. And I ain't saying, I ain't up, upset. I'm just saying, you know, you the one that has to take care of it, and you're going to take care of it. Now, I got a wife at home, Miss Hill. Uh, she had a stroke. Uh, and I, you know, you juggling all these things, it's hard to remember where the hell you going to find music for a sweet hair after, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, everything we've been doing to get ready for this funeral made in – just waiting. You ain't done nothing. What do you mean? For you to ask me to do something, I guess, is what I mean. I'm here. I'm, all you got to do is ask. I don't. I I'm want you to, to do the well, emotional I'm trying labor. to actually deal with things and take care of it. That's the reason I ain't ask you. 
Well, uh, Bashful Bradley, uh, when I was getting him high out in the car, he was oh, like, "Don't tell me that. I don't." He's got he's got so many things. First of all, Jackie, he's got so many things wrong with him that he says uh, that good pot smoke help him. I don't want to know That's anything about it. Well, he, he I went. I, he made a beeline to me, and I wasn't corrupting him. He seen me, and he come right over. He said, "You that little fat boy with all the the dope." Drugs, like, yeah, yeah, like, that's right there. Yeah, everybody like, knows yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, I remember you. Hey, you got any of that, that good pot smoke? I have so many things wrong with I me. Don't that want good no pot smoke. About it. I don't want to know a thing Help about me. it. Don't want no. Uh. Uh-uh. He's fun. Well, good. I'm glad you have. He got plenty of time to have fun. It was, and Mama sick. I'm glad he's out there having fun doing drugs. That's good to hear. Good for it's him. Medicine. You ever heard of it? I heard of medicine. I also heard of drugs. I go by what the law says. Law oh, yeah, says Jeff this. Sessions. Well, whoever it is, he's the one making a law now, whether you like it or not. Why don't you, uh, here in Tennessee, go out to California, go wherever the hell else, they do it for Las free. Las Vegas, Denver. Well, uh, wherever it is, go do it there. Wherever go. the homeless people are, like, 18-year-old extras from Mad Max, that's where... That's where the pot is legal, folks. Yeah. I don't know what the first thing about it. Don't want to know. So, uh, if you did some dope, like I, you bashful no. Bradley Brawls. I ain't going to do no dope. I'm just saying, we've been doing this for a long time. I've known you since I was, since I was a born baby. And I just think know nothing but I can, but I know a lot of people. I've met a lot of people in this world, and there ain't many people that could do with being Mella, a little Mella, more than Jackie Bro. Oh, little Mella, you, Jackie Bro. I don't care what Mella is or any of it. Don't bring me. Have you never been mellow? I don't want to have my my name and then Mellon or what? What is that? Drugs, Mellon's drugs. I don't know. I don't want to have a thing to do with it. You go. Take, you, you are, got plenty of time to do it. You go get him high. You, you got, are tightly wound. Get high. Everybody wants to be on drugs. You've been th- listen, time. this has been, I think, your mother's died. You lost your store. You lost, you were mayor. You lost some money. I'm, I, the story's confusing, but it it's all I, about loss. I lived it, and I don't want to hear it, it again. It starts I, with Trump coming in. And then a solid year of loss. Well, that don't make anything any better. I tell you that. That's for damn sure. I've gained, I believe, 60 pounds. I call it my Trump bump. That's just, you've been putting on weight since uh, since we've been here with you. It was yesterday and today, and the future was going to be starving. tomorrow. I'm Well, it was late last night got in. This is a tuna casserole. I'm going to make a sandwich out of it. You're supposed to eat. That's fine. But you do you do all the drugs that make eat. you want to eat everything. And you get fatter than you already are. Yep. That's how it works. I don't even give a shit, man. This, well, is, this is who I am. This well, is what I'm supposed to be. Well, High and with cheese sauce all over my well, mouth. That's what makes you happy. Then, you know. It don't make me happy, but it's, the, it's just the way things are. Well. That nothing can ever make me happy, Jackie. There's a there's a hole that gets bigger with every passing day. Oh, yeah. And since last November, that hole sounds a lot like our, our fucking president. All right, watch it. I yeah, ask I said you again. fucking president. I know what you said. I can hear it. No, I, was te- I, was I don't telling, want anybody else to say it. I was telling that kid. Well, don't tell anybody, kid. Don't say any language around here. I, I'm supposed to be out there introducing myself. Hey, guess myself. what, Johnny? Just what? There's some people in this country that don't like the president. Don't pay no. Go on out there. Go you probably on out ain't there. ever she- heard with your inbred parents in there going, oh, he's doing a good job. Well, listen, these people who have a brain and a heart just... Tell him it's outside. Don't tell him here inside. You yeah, won't get meet the, me outside, and I'll tell you more, kid. Mr. Brickmate going to put you outside if you keep doing Mr. that. Mr. Brickmate going to get a fucking no, watch your, punch I'll in the... Get enough of it. You have a little and respect. And rage. Try to have a little respect. It's just I got to get high, and then I eat, and then I rage, 
and then I, the whole cycle starts again. Why do I have to be around any of it? I don't want to have anything. What to do a with terrible any of it. year! You and run then to cap it all off. Look, your poor mama. Talk about what the hell you won't talk about in here, because I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna leave it. I got a sponsor this week that I well, think you're gonna really like. Is that all? You just had to say the name of the funeral home. That's what twenty five dollars off of you know, and I ain't even got the stone yet, headstone. I ain't even got into that t- territory yet. I'm just going on. I tell you what, Mr. Cheap, why don't you just nail a wooden cross together and hey, jab it in the ground? Watch it, but I'm just you go saying, down to the Halloween store I'm and get you a Dracula. God, just shut prop. your mouth. Shut your mouth. And she damn mama, she was 200 years old. I ain't said I ain't going to spend money. I just said I ain't talked about it yet. I don't know what that's going to be. I'm learning, you know, every day. I learn something new. I, you know, I kind of had money set aside. So there's a little bit of insurance that coming to help some of the situation. But some of it got to come out of my pocket. I thought you was broke ever since the damn. I ain't got a lot of that. Well, you got money hit everywhere. So, so first you say don't. You shameful that you talk about the headstone, then you turn around, well, hell, you ain't got no money, so what the hell am I supposed to do then? I like to keep you on your toes. Well, I don't want to be on my toes. I'm plenty on my toes. I've been on toes for years and years. Now, Mama, bless her heart, she passed on, and I just don't want to be on my toes no more. Just Listen, let me. Are you going to get shoot that mule on her headstone? Well, a few other things, I don't know. She wants something. Sweet hair, you know, sweet hair after. And she wanted a picture of a school bus on it in the snow. How much? That's going to run into some money. It's going to be what it is. I'll find out. And I don't know how big it's going to be. You want big? She didn't well, you get can't it have a damn people guy get down on their hands and knees like, what the fuck is this on this headstone? Look like a damn, is that a bus? What? I, if there's a movie poster or something for it, I'd just as soon put that. But she says she wants a school bus in the snow. Like engraved on the slide. On the, How are you going to get that across? I don't. Do I make headstones? I'll talk to Mr. Brickman about it see what he can do. Maybe Inky could draw a book, put some of them motion lines of like a bus sliding. Like a little puff of smoke so you know it's going fast. Well. That's just a lot to convey is all I'm saying. She ain't here. She ain't going to care. Well, that's, I want to respect her wishes. That's why I'm saying if it's a big school bus or a little school bus, who cares what anybody else thinks as long as it's on there, she's happy. So that's all I'm, I'll deal with it when I got to. I'm dealing with enough as it is right now. Could, we'll worry about a headstone after the time to put her in the ground. People be like. Did she drive a bus? It's that movie. It's going to say sweet hair after on it. She wants it to say it on the tombstone. Well, that makes sense. That could mean a lot of things. Well, yeah, it's appropriate, yeah. But did she say it has to say the movie, the sweet hair after? No, she said it won't say sweet hair after school bus sliding. And children screaming or something. I don't know. I don't know how detailed she wants it. Jim Beavers told me he wanted his, uh, you don't remember Jim Beavers from Comcast Cable? Of course I remember Jim He Beavers. wanted his uh, headstone to say, Suddenly Susan. Bless his heart, if that's what he wanted. Did he die? I believe he's dead, yeah. Who I, all I don't is know dead? what to put on his tombstone. Who all that we, uh, our sponsors and our friends here in Murfreesboro have died? It's fewer than you think, but they still a good chunk of them. It's people, what do you, when, when someone like me get up to be my age, most people you know, you know, they, they, you, you know more and more people that's done passed on the older you get. You no know more is. ghosts than living. I'm not ghosts, angels, whatever. They ain't in heaven now, so. Some of them, some of them ain't. Well, I ain't, that ain't my, that's God to sort that out. I ain't none of my business. So I got a sponsor this week, Jackie, that I think you are really going to like. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that, but as long as it ain't got language in it, just try to, you know, while we're doing this. Hurry it up, though, because I got, I got to get out there. Oh, know? Bashful Bradley's uh, brawls is up there. He's talking to everybody. People telling him he looks great. He did a good job taking care of your mama. Ah. He's up there. He said, uh, oh, he's crying. Ah. People consoling him. He didn't work. 
He's doing great. People just happy to see him. Well, I'm supposed to be the one up there, so let's hope get this done so I can get out there. Well, it's not a contest. I know it ain't a contest, but I'm the one. If I, he ain't offered. We'll see. We'll maybe since I take care of all this, we'll see if he wants to pay to get the school bus with here after on the stone. We'll see about that. God damn! I am glad I did not grow up with you. What do you mean? I'm doing it. If he's out there saying that, I'm the one that's paying. Just what do you tell, say? What you gonna say to get this old with? Funeral I can, pants. I got things. What? It, you know how it is when you ain't got no funeral clothes and somebody close to you dies, and all you got is some cargo shorts full of fast food wrappers, uh, damp on the back where your knee back goes. Man. You ever woke up from a drunk and found out somebody in your family is dead, and uh, you're like, well, fuck. Every- hey, I had a suit. It. I think I left that in Talladega covered in human feces. What the? I ain't going. I can't pay no high dollar damn J.C. Penny money Jeez. to get a. Why don't I go down to the Goodwill? It, that's distracting. It's not just funeral clothes at the Goodwill. They got regular clothes, tennis rackets, bric-a-brac, bric-a-brac, knickknacks. Small wicker baskets. VHS copies of The Sweet Hereafter. I don't know if you're going to find any of those around this part of town. No matter what Goodwill thrift store we go to, you ain't going to find that one because she went through. I don't know how many. Got to be where you had to order one. Out of, from, we had to go to video. This back when video stores. You didn't go to Walmart to buy, you know, I think Walmart's got movies no more. Well, I don't know where you got it. They're all on TV. You just hit a button. I don't know why anybody buys anything. Fear- hey, what's the Wi-Fi password? What? Hey. Hey. Quit screaming at me. Well, if she's looking at me, but she won't answer me. Well, you she don't know what the answer is. Do you she's know what the Wi-Fi password is? She doesn't know what Wi-Fi password means. Uh, I don't know what it means. Uh, scream it. Yeah, I, no matter how loud you scream it, it don't make any damn no, don't sense to me. On. She's crying and she's coming over here. Go into the damn. Go look at Quit. the body. Quit. I don't. She's not going to. She doesn't know what it is. And she's just going to come over here and cry no. and tell you like, oh, I loved your mom or whatever. Uh, she went to the bathroom. Okay. Funeral pants, if you are uh, somebody who just ain't got nothing to wear to a funeral and you don't want to go to a damn Goodwill, because that's depressing enough, let's be honest. Somebody's dead and now you got to go to a fucking Goodwill? Watch your mouth. Jesus. Watch your mouth. How about go to funeral pants? You in, you out. It's all funeral pants. It's black, it's gray. Funeral pants. Some navy. They got jackets. They got some shirts. Just dress slacks in. They got shoes and they ain't scuffed up too bad. They got slick socks and some dark ties. So it's just a dress store. It's just the way you get a suit or something. Yeah. Well. But it, it, it's cheap and it's fast. And you can be drunk and go in there and they don't give a shit. They kind of cater to, like, let's say the prodigal sons, uh, uh, the... Uh, the deadbeat dads. Right. Uh, the uh, distant stepfathers. It's, uh, and that's where I went. And then I decided I was just going to take that $4 I was going to no spend. Pa- and you ain't got no. That's about to say you wearing those baggy shorts or whatever it is. You well, ain't I asked them. No I dressed like, up for hey, the funeral. Richard, you think I should take his four dollars and buy a pair of gray slacks I will never again wear in my life, or should I take his four dollars and get like four sausage biscuits at Hardee's? He said the slacks, but I was like, "Of course you'd say that." And then I said, "Hey, how about you give me twenty-five dollars to sponsor my podcast?" 
So I made out like a fucking bandit. Hey, watch your mouth. And these shorts are full of the bounty, that $25. All right. Well, so that's, $25, you could have turned around and given three back or four back to get a pair of used pants. I hope you at least do that for the funeral. Uh, did, you, greeting, most people dress up semi-decent for this. I'm you a Paul Bear, that. right? No, you ain't a Paul Boy. She didn't. No. It's a, I I'm don't strong. Know, I don't know how it's going to go, to be quite honest with you. How you want me to do some push-ups for you? No, you ain't going to do it. At the beat right now, I may take you because it's a, the, the pallbearers, you know them. Uh, but the ones that are still living is the fraternity of the, 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 the bark, what, the fraternity of the. Frequent barker? Frequent barker, that's it, yeah. And they're. I hope that's it. They're. They that, old. Same age. Yeah, no. Did and one of them die? Well, a couple of them have. No, wait. What about the damn, uh, the oldest lawyer in the world? One of one of them died. One, the one that was contesting the other one. Uh, and the one then there was another died. one. Yeah. It's been, folks, let me tell you. Uh, it's been a long. Jackie had a lot to deal with. He had a lot going on, and I was here for him. I All he had to do was ask. I can't keep up with what you ask me. What about... What happened in the news? What Trump do? I can't keep up with what we say. I don't. I don't. Too much. Too I, much of it. I can't deal with all of it. But them men, that the four of them still living. I think one of them semi young, but they're liable to. I know she didn't weigh nothing, bless her heart. But you know, coffin is a coffin. It don't make a difference. But they, they, they about the same age she is. So you may need to be. At least near it. In like case one spot of them em? goes. Well, yeah. I'll spot them. Well, get you a pair of gray slacks and I'll let you spot them. Uh, hell, address. I'm going to have to spot them by myself. This she ain't got, a damn. I'm going to wear a school uniform for you, man. I'm, this is a freedom it's country. It's not for me. It's for decency. It's for. I do, it's a funeral. It's it, a freedom country funeral. Well, and I can wear shorts. If I, if it's, I watch your mouth. Enough. It, you, you know what your mama would have said if I'd said, hey, Miss Bros, uh, you mind if I wear these shorts uh, to carry your coffin uh, from a damn hearse to a damn hole? She would have said, uh, Sarah Polly in the suite hereafter, and then uh, the bus and in home. Yeah. Who is it? I just know one girl, Polly, she said all over and over She'd again. She'd put a phone in a blender and uh, chew that mule. Oh, yeah. She was a sweet lady. She was. Good woman. Good, strong woman. Yeah, she had yeah, a good mama. I love him. Lucky. Love him. Some people end up with mamas that ain't worth a darn. I did. Hard for me to figure that out when you grow up with somebody decent and you talk to somebody you know and you say, wait a minute, that mama ain't no good. So all of you out there with good mamas, count your blessings. And the ones with the awful mamas are sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. Just hold on if you can. Yeah. See if one, you can get through it. One day you'll be at damn funeral pants saying, she ain't worth $6. Well, in that case, she might not be. I don't know. That's funeral pants. This is Memories. A lot has happened in the few weeks since we've been gone. Like, a lot has happened. Just a lot that makes you want to bash your fucking head. Hey, where hey, you going? Watch your mouth. You got, we got to do the news part now. Why? Where you going? I'm going to go out here and do what I'm supposed to do. I, I told you I'd give you, what is it? Four to five minutes or something, and I don't mean to be people listening. I appreciate that y'all want to hear it and all that, and I find I'm, I'm humble and thank you kind of and all that, but like my mom, I got to go out here and talk to these people know know my mom and half of them the same age as her, and I don't understand half of what they're saying. Oh. I got to go out there and, and, and do this. So You're right. Jeff. I have a lot going on. It's not just what's going on in the news. It's just my, my own personal life, as awful as it is. And to sit here and talk about how awful that SOB son of idiot got, you know, make me 
Sound like Eminem right now. So damn mad. Eminem's. This is just hitting me, Jackie. Do you have a handkerchief? A what? Handkerchief. I don't have a handkerchief. You got a handkerchief? If I now, got one, I ain't giving it to you. Just let me. It's my handkerchief. You know, maybe I get emotional or something. I, I need to wipe it. the back of my knees I off. I don't get. You ain't using mine. Go get a paper towel. Go in there and get, get the, you know. Hey! No, you get it. Don't yeah, have somebody a dog. Towel. A dog. Don't do it. Leave it alone. Don't listen to him. Somebody bring me a paper I'm towel. I'm about to get him out of here. Hey, I'm taking these toothpicks and making little fried okra skewers. Like, right. a, like a damn Mediterranean uh, meat and three damn fusion restaurant. Mediterranean. Hey, we should buy a damn... Listen, with all that money your mama left you, we need yeah, to buy us a damn food truck. Left any money, money. I don't know first thing about any of that stuff yet. She didn't have... It, and we'll sell these... If anything, ain't much of it. Fried okra skewers. I ain't selling no fried okra. I make barbecue. I don't make anything skewers on it. No, that's racist. What is it? Listen, you always like... Uh, I don't know. Why? I don't know. Don't know what? I was going to go somewhere, and I've decided against it. Well, good. If we, Whatever it was, I'm you were I'm self-editing. Thinking, well. That's, that's, you know what? That's the way the world is now, and good. People are like, oh, that's bad. I say it's good. There's a lot going on these days, and maybe we all should do a little more self-editing. Why is self-editing bad? Freedom of speech. I can be the biggest damn cockhead they is. Hey, watch your mouth. But yeah, that's what freedom of speech. Maybe freedom of speech means to think two fucking seconds before you mouth. offend. Well, you offended me by saying that. Think about it before you use that language. I'm getting tired of hearing it. I'm sorry, I'm such a cockhead to you. Oh, I shut your mouth. Here on this eve of your mother's passing. Yeah, she passed a day to go, but, you know, we're here. You ain't wasting thing. no time. Well, that's what you spoke. I was two days ago, and the great had great last night and the night. Oh, and that's the funeral tomorrow. One of them frequent Barker dudes, he was getting with you, Mama. That's right. Damn. Do you think they consummated? I'm just saying, I don't know. She got mixed up with those fellas, and they were trying to get... I don't know if they trying to get money or not, but they was trying to get some movie made or something with that How little thing. How much money thing. she got? I, she, I, that's what I'm saying. They were barking up a wrong tree as far as I know. <laughs> barking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's good to laugh. That's what I mean. He'd be sitting there and squat and just hollering. I remember a little picture of him. But I don't. I mean, I would. Uh, that's all that I need to do is, rem- oh, yeah, that. I don't need to sit in a room and talk about Remembering it for two damn hours. Folks, you just, I'm not going to go into the story, but look up old podcasts where the frequent society, the frequent Barker was the best. Fraternity. 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 Of the, you know what, Jackie, you're right. I'm going to start treating you with a little more respect. I, I got a little caught up in, I swear these Trump's making everybody crazy. I don't even uh, know how to act no more. The news is nuts. I mean, it's nuclear annihilation over on this corner, and it's damn uh, Dead soldiers over on this corner and down the street, there's damn get out of the Iran deal so we can get some more nuclear annihilation. And like, over here is Kelly, is he helping the country? And over here is Kelly, he hearting the country. And over here is Trump every five fucking minutes, hey. his big pumpkin head on a damn. Yeah. God, fuck. Hey. <sighs> Did you want a beer? Yeah, give me one. So, let's take a trip back to what we can remember uh, on the spur of the moment in the past few weeks. One thing that happened that we did, this is how long ago it was, Jackie. How about the damn national anthem and the football players and uh, Colin Kaepernick? Well, that don't seem as nearly as disrespectful as it used to now that he's, you know, calling up. Gold star families and harassing them, I guess, or whatever. That's what I don't understand. Everybody's mad about this. He should have called. He, that's, that's the, if you just lost a loved one, the last thing person in the world I'd want to hear from is that 
man calling me. And I understand that's his job. It's what the president's supposed to do. And I said, well, did the president call? Of course, they, there's some people that said, well, the president, you stay by the phone because the president's going to call in the next few days. And ain't nobody, hell, nobody calling him. You got enough to do when uh, your son, the soldier, your husband, wife, the soldier gets killed. Without having to worry about changing your fucking phone number. I ain't watching my eyes, but you. Do we have caller ID on this? They show up with the damn flag like in Saving Private Ryan, drive up a damn driveway with a flag, knock on the screen door. They're like, here's your flag, change your phone number. Or else he gonna call him. We got to, we got to go because it's awkward. I don't want to be here in case you put him on speakerphone. They yeah. peel out, gravel flying. Man, well, some gold star uh, mother on TV. I just don't remember what channel, but she was saying they need to get somebody else to do that job while he's president. I, well, I, they, I, she said get someone else to do the calling, but I think they should get somebody else to be all, all of it, president. In general, I don't even like it happened, and then we're talking about what happened. What it's like they're trying to Benghazi it, and then we start talking about him uh, calling, and and we know that he's ju- he's gonna be a, a terrible person to talk to if everyone in your family's alive. And then this happens, and everybody jumps on it like. Now they're like, well, Obama called. Well, Obama didn't call. Like everybody's politicizing. John Kelly comes out. Is that his, even his name, John Kelly? What general, 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 General Kelly. Right, be, might be General John Kelly. Gen, general Kelly, yeah. Uh, general Kelly comes out and he gives a pretty good speech talking about bringing it back to soldiers and criticizing Congress people. It gets the heat off Trump, which is what he's supposed to do. That's your job, yeah. His job is is a henchman. He, so he is a henchman. He, he keeps. What I imagine he does all day is just swat Trump's hand away from Twitter and the nuclear button. And every once in a while, he uh, when he Trump brings his dead soldier son hero into the damn conversation, he has to go out and give an emotional speech. Won't be the last one. Well, you know, that's that's what he signed up for. Yep, that's your job. That's what he said. Sa- it's what not. Up for, yeah. You know, it's not. It's not great. It's not good. He knew what he was getting into. He knew what he was getting into. Yeah, he knew. He, he yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I wouldn't want. Look, I would not want to call the soldiers' families. I would be terrible at it. I'm fucking sitting in here. Hey, watch it. I've stolen petty cash out of the funeral home office. What? I broke a window with a brick in the back. Just because it was sitting there. What? What? Where? What in the back? You know, in that little shed where they keep no. funeral tools? No, I don't know. <laughs> That's your, if you did anything, that's a going that twenty five dollars might well to put it right back. I was high on something. I got here, but I'm feeling better now. So I wouldn't want to do that job, but Lord no. Look, if you elected Trump, you did not want him to call soldiers' families, right? That's part of the job. That slipped people's mind when that they were pulling the lever. Like, oh that. yeah, by the way. But they also evidently forgot, you know. Nuclear arms race. What else did they forget? You go down the list of things they forgot well, when that, they were pulling they the lever think, on Oh, him. be tough, be tough. You know that's why we're beating ISIS now. Because as soon as Trump got elected, ISIS said, "Oh shit, no, oh, I'm scared." That's what Trump said. ISIS running scared as soon as Trump well, as they yeah. got the news that Trump. Look, he's not good at eulogies. No. He would be good eulogizing himself. I I still wouldn't want to hear that either. It's just gross. It's all gross. It's all terrible. A bunch of poor kids get hurt bad. And then their family has to talk to Trump. Make it worse. Some of them want to talk to Trump. 
Well, the shit didn't even know the names. What did he say? Your guy did this, your guy did that, you know, but they don't, he don't know the names of who he's, the, well, of course he don't. Well, he say up there, he got up there and said, oh, it's one of the hardest things that I have to do is call, which nobody else does, by the way, no other president calls or, or, or writes or whatever the hell. It's one of the hardest things. Well, hardest thing you ever do how hard is it on the family? How hard is it on the soldier that gave his life for the country? How? Everything it does. Everything it does. Open his damn mouth. It's just going to get worse. Listen, folks, if you want to turn people against the national anthem, have Trump speak out in favor of it. Yeah. It ain't just like, I hate Trump and I hate things he likes. It's whatever Trump is in favor of is going to make me question that thing. It's not just primal, I hate what he likes. It's more of a, huh, maybe there's something, is there something wrong with the national anthem? I didn't think, is it enriching Donald Trump in some way? And it is, if, if you think about it. Well, before he started running his mouth off, for whatever reason, good or bad, I ain't going to go down that road right now. Uh, football players, it wasn't, you know, there was only so so many football players that were taking a knee, or, you know, whatever, sitting down or whatever. And then after he started running the mouth, whole team started doing it. I started doing it. Well. Just it, whenever I see him, I get down on my knees. Made me a little less upset about it, I'll say that. Uh, there was uh, whew, Las Vegas. It's just not all right, somebody else killed a bunch, but another crazy person with a bunch of guns. I'll go back to what I say to all those kind of machine guns. Take here's make a deal with the country, and everybody, if you had any smarts to you, you, you you'd agree to this. And I don't leave it to Trump to come up with this idea, but I've always said this. You get all them machine guns, all them crazy-ass guns that nobody has any business having. I know how much fun they are to have in the backyard or whatever, but you don't need it. You, nobody has any business having them. They kill a lot of paper real fast. That's all they do. Take every one of them away, and then every American citizen is required to have a pistol and a shotgun. Now, people are still going to get mad and shoot each other. Of course they are. That's, gonna, that's never going to lose a gun. Somebody's going to shoot somebody. That's what they're for. But they won't be able to kill as many people when they're shooting with a pistol or shotgun. But even all those people, every liberal, I don't like gun. No, guess what? We're making a deal. You take all them. Here's your pistol. Here's your shotgun. How about this? Yeah. Pistol and shotgun. Right. And only women get them. Right. Men are not allowed to have guns. Well, that ain't gonna work. But you know, men are outlawed from guns. You give, but every woman has to carry a damn a holster and a thing on her back, like uh, Evil Dead, where you pull a gun. Or how about this? So that's not gonna work actually, because studies show that when women have guns for protection, you know where this story's going, right? Yeah. That men get the gun and kill the women with it. This is a bleak fucking hey. podcast. The language ain't making it any better. It is. No. I disagree. Well. So what's the thing where you touch a gun and it turns on because it knows your fingerprints? Uh, James Bond had one of them, yeah. yeah. Like if, that, if my fucking phone hey. can look at my eyes... And be like, hey, Dunlap, let me pull up Pornhub for you. Then I think what we need is guns, pistols, shotguns. All women get them. Men get no guns. And the guns only respond to uh, the registered handprints of the woman. Well, what we're doing now ain't working. Hell, it's worth a shot. I mean, why do men, what would men object to about that? Do they need the gun to protect the women? Well, they that, and they just like to shoot guns. Oh, they you like know. to shoot well, guns. Shoot right. guns is funny. I like to shoot guns, yeah. I mean, I'm sure women would still kill some men, and, and men would still kill everything they could well, without they, guns. Some of them need killing, you know. Yeah, they, 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 I'd like know. to see, I'd just like to see how this shakes out. 
what the ratio is of that. Yeah, many, I'd like to many. see how many. Oh, let's see, Bob. You know, the Tennessee senators have been in the news lately. Lamar Alexander. Yeah, everybody getting mad at us all the time. Here's somebody else you get mad at. Get uh, We ain't the only two Tennesseans that, that hate Trump. And some of them, you know, there are lots of other Republicans. And, and uh, Bob Corker. Lamar Alexander don't I don't dislike him as much as Corker. The Corkers just don't give a damn. He ain't running. Well, he ain't running for his seat again. Now, he's running for something, I tell you that right now, but he ain't running for a seat. He says, now that I ain't running again, I can, you know, say whatever I want to. Like <laughs> the truth. Funny. Like Pretty the funny. damn truth, yeah. I, I, now that I ain't, now that I ain't going to be serving the country, I'm, I'm able to speak the truth. Did you see him out there in the parking lot? Who? With Corker. In the parking lot? He come to see just now, he, right before we started this, he was talking to your brother up there, at, uh, shaking, hugging him. Bob shaking Corker hands. was here? He said he knew your mother. Huh? I didn't see him anywhere around here. He was up there. He was talking. He, he, oh, it's pretty funny. He was like, well, I'll tell you, let me... He was whispering to your brother. He said, come here, I'll tell you something about Trump. And he'd be like, buzz, buzz, buzz. And they'd right. laugh and laugh. And he said, let me tell you something else about Trump. And they had to get away because everybody else here likes Trump. Except for Jackie. I'm not even sure about your brother, but he was definitely indulging Bob Corker. Yeah. And Bob Corker. You didn't see Bob Corker bring that? I didn't see. Stan D. If it was him. Ian Holm. From the video store and put it up next to your mama's? I asked you, you mean the man from the movie, sweetheart? Yeah. Ass. I don't know his name. That was Bob Corker doing that? Yeah, that scares me every time I turn the corner. I'm like, what, who the fuck I is saw that? The ba- Watch him. I Behind saw the, the back of his head, but I don't I don't see Bob Corker back of his head. I see him on TV, see him talking. I thought looking. it was just some weasley small-town lawyer from the back of his head, and then he turned around and said, like, oh, that's fucking Bob, Bob Corker. Corker. Watch him, man. Don't say it like that. Because he's also dressed all, all in white and wearing a, a Panama hat. Well, he's probably going to as many funerals as he can just do some campaigning. Because I'm telling you what, he says he ain't running again. Well, he ain't running for the Senate. He going he gonna to run. Try, he's thinking big now. Because Lord knows the Republicans are going to run somebody against him if he, if he somehow stays in office. I literally don't know. He could be there for eight years or he could be gone Check the phone, your phone. It could be gone now. I don't know. I don't know what, what's going on. He told, he told your brother, he said, yeah, I've been going to a lot of funerals lately. I, I need some cheering up. And they laughed. Yeah. And he gave your brother a $100 bill. I don't know what was going on. $100 bill. Yeah, I don't know why. A $100 bill. I don't know. He better not be banging for votes or anything. No, I think it was more like helping out with the funeral expenses. But he ain't spending a dime on it. He said, I didn't have, to, I think he was like, I didn't have time to order no flowers. I've been too busy cussing the damn president well, now, you brother. <laughs> well, Bob Corker, you do, you keep He's it funny up. at a funeral. He's well, funny. I didn't see him here. I didn't know that was Bob Corker. I didn't know Mama knew him. I didn't know It was when I had you up here doing the mic check. When I was talking on this side. Hurry up, get it off. What else, what else you want to talk about? Because I'm getting What do you think going to happen? Done. Like, Tillerson... I, if t- if Trump cleared house one day and it was Tillerson, Corker, he can't fire Bob Corker, can he? I don't. He can't can fire he? Shit. I Hell, I don't know. That's why everybody keeps asking. Like, well, I always, you know, with Tillerson saying he was a a, a moron, which he, which he is. Another somebody telling the truth. And, and everybody said, well, well, how long is Tillerson going to be around here? Tillerson, look, think what you want of him, but that if he's – he knows how to do his job. I'm telling you. Number one, the one reason I know that he knows how to do his job is that he completely contradicts the president every opportunity that it gets. The president gets on the Twitters or the Twitters and then he gets on TV and says this and then tell us, oh, no, we ain't doing any of that. What? I ain't never seen that before. That's the first time I ever seen that. But he, I'm telling you, tell us, as far as the GOP is concerned, the Exxon man, he, he can get with other countries. He going to get that oil to flow. He going to get that money going. He going to get the money to them. You going to get some money, and we're going to get some money and all this, and he can't do it. Now, it would not 
help poor people or the no, it ain't gonna help people poor, who my, live in those countries. Minorities or, or poor people. No, no, they, I'm talking about you know the but old status countries. quo. The people who put him in the job that want him to do what he he. I'm telling you, but knows Trump how is so do. fucking stupid. Look at Kelly right, giving his speech today. Sent, like the press is falling over backwards about this damn. Kelly speech. He Trump has people around, even fucking Steve Bannon, oh, evil people, but people who could help him get control of the country. Evil, even uh, some kind of evil Nazi way, like Bannon, or some kind of traditional uh, military way, like like Kelly, or or some sort of like make a bunch of money uh, stealing oil from. Uh, poor countries like Tillerson. We could just go back to the way things have always been, but Trump is so fucking stupid, hey. he can't even let people prop him up. Maybe that's good. Maybe this is the end of everything. Ah, hell, it feels like it. Ain't nothing ever going to be the same again. That's for damn sure. Nothing makes any damn sense. I don't understand any of it. If Trump called you to offer condolences about your mother and offer you a $25,000 check, would you take it? Nope. You wouldn't take that $25,000 check? You could no. offer it to... I don't... Where, where'd that money come from? Anything that he had his hand in? No. It should, Russia. It, it should be, well, either come from Russia or some charity he said he was going to give it to or something. Yeah, I ain't taking a dime for that man. No, sir. Did that family get that $25,000? I think what I heard is the day that, that he went on the news and said, I never did get it. Somebody, he sent somebody from White House. He wrote check fast. And somebody rushed it to get it to him so to, to nip that in the bud, so to speak. That's you think what they I heard. have a FedEx guy on standby just anytime something comes up that Trump said he was going to do and didn't well, do? And Sarah cop- Huckabee has to be like, ah. Get Randy in here. Tell him to get the truck warmed up. He's got to go to Maryland. Yeah. Who was the man that fired Comey for him? Same same position. That That's guy. the same thing. Yeah, same thing. They used thing. to do. Fire him. Give him $25,000. Did Was there a quote in the press? I didn't follow this story that closely. Did they say what he said when he offered the grieving family $25,000? Well, I don't know. Was it like, you know what? You know what would make you feel better? Like he's damn Ed McMahon. Yeah. I'm like gonna, opening up with some balloons and some. I'm going to get that in the mail to you. Oh, there's some world, there's some alternate reality where Donald Trump did just become fucking Ed McMahon. Hey, he's hosting hey. like bloopers and boners and he's driving around with publishers clearing house checks and he's. Oh, that's a great world. Yeah, I'd live there for a while better than this. Even he couldn't even do that. He'd show up and he'd be like, hey, what, you know. He, they'd have to sh- shoot, like, him going, like, 18 different families before they get something usable that wasn't, like, racist or groping somebody or fucking. Hey. Just being an asshole, making it all about him. He couldn't even be Ed McMahon. You know how easy it is to be Ed McMahon? Yes. Ed McMahon could do it. And he's the president. That shit oh, don't make any okay. sense. Jackie, he, I'm going to climb in that coffin with your mom and I just put the... Make some room for me, put too. Put the damn just, cover down. All this stuff. Because one uh, thing we keep forgetting, like, what is the GOP thinking? What the hell are these senators thinking? First off, they ain't. You got to remember, think back, because we've been living in this hell for so long, it already feels like it's been 20-something years. They didn't think he's going to win. Not one of them did. No, no, they didn't think he's going to win. They're like, yeah, let's get, let's, you know, get, let the the bad part of the base be happy and let him do a show, and then we'll get back to get Benghazi and everything. When Hillary gets in there, we'll go after her with everything we got. They're used to that. They know how to do that. They did that for you know so long. So they don't know what the hell to do. I'm sure for a hot minute they sat there and thought, well, hell, we got him now. Look at here. We're going to get this through. We're going to get that through. Let's, yeah, let him sit there and say I'm fine so-and-so or do his little TV show and we'll we'll knock it out. We'll get it done. Well, guess what? They didn't count on how dumb they were, incompetent. They nope. didn't count on how awful Trump. There's no way. Like, we thought, what did we think Trump was going to do? He was going to be Hitler, which is... <sighs> Like just uh, he is just bad. 
Like everything, he is what we thought, but but worse because he's so bad at it, and yet somehow it's even more exhausting than I could have imagined. Because it's just like going to work with some idiot boss you got, and every day it's just this lukewarm bath of mediocrity and nauseating narcissism and making everything about him and saying the wrong thing every single time. It disappointing the people who like them, but they can't even say anything about it because they, at least yeah. they get to watch you squirm. I don't know what job that is. It sounds terrible. I'd quit that job. Yeah, well, yeah. If I were you, but I can't quit America yet. I mean, give me five, maybe. So it hadn't even been a year, Jackie. I, I, I mean, since the damn election. He's only been in the damn since January. I, I, Remember? <laughs> hard to remember what happened before this. Hard to remember. Some things, though, maybe, maybe, I can't tell why some things are happening, but uh, if it's because of Trump that... People like Harvey Weinstein start going down. Oh, hell, I don't know. I didn't know who he was till somebody said, oh, he made movies, and then he'd treat women awful. That's, that, that's all I know about him. It is. It, it was uh, It was funny to watch uh, conservative news. Uh, well, that's, I, well, that's how for, I knew who he was. He's old, they'd never heard him before till, till Fox News and... And all these some of these websites you, you you know click on to show me whatever, and 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 every one of them, not a one was mad about what it did. They, they, they didn't say anything about how awful it is to disrespect women and, and as far as things. But people said it right. I mean, it's just as awful it's as you can than, get. Yeah, it's more I know that's why I'm more it's disrespect. More than, it's crimes is what it is to me. From what I heard, it's awful. But they ain't talk about that. No, it's just about hot. <laughs> Hillary funded uh, Hollywood rapist Harvey Weinstein. Listen, this is on Fox News who just, like, have been throwing rapists out with the damn, like, every morning, like, they're tossing some out to the curb. And, look, and it's not just about who's, what entertainment complex has the most sexual abusers. It's about a damn... Like, we, Jackie, uh. we're just as bad. We've all, we're all complicit. We've all, we've all benefited from this male-dominated society that that prizes getting laid above everything else. This straight male. I mean, is it, is heterosexuality gonna survive this? Uh. Why would anybody even want to be? Look, I'm not victim blaming or telling people what to do, but I can't imagine why uh, any woman in America is looking at a straight man right now with thoughts of anything other than finding a baseball bat to hit them with. Well, well, well yeah. Every, for, there's nothing, Jackie. Think about think about what the average. Man has been complicit in what he has not spoken out about, what his 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 desires have been, how he has taken uh, his privilege and and used it to just get laid and uh, to it's been hard enough cover for me up and to to come around on some of this stuff, just you know racial issues and things such as that, where it was just well, hell, I wasn't thinking. So God only knows. Falling out of the woman part is men been treating women like awful for forever. Far back as I remember, it's yeah. like they they coded it into the Bible. Like not we all, all got them, together. Not all men, you know. There's a few decent men here and there, but you know, you no. hear stories. You hear like this. It's all that. of them. Well, I don't know. Oh, yeah. All we can say about this is basically to fall down on the floor and say I'm sorry, and then fill our mouths with dirt. And scuttle off into the bushes. Scuttle? Is that the right word? Scuttle? I don't know. 
And that's just the average man. My life has basically been just trying to get laid. Well, yeah. When I heard that your mother had passed away, I got really excited. Why? Because I was like, oh, think of all the women I can hit on. All right. Just And no. then I thought, coming on to women in an inappropriate situation is not cool anymore. It wasn't cool to begin with, I didn't think. Only Hell. thinking about women as a means to get laid is not cool anymore. Thinking only about Sex and all right. I try not to sit around and think about that. Now I'm up there in age, and you know, I'm mad. I'm still mad for years and years. And as I know some men run around with women and all that stuff. I I didn't do that sort of thing. I'd grown up say yes sir, no ma'am, yes sir. You know these That's sexist. people respect. I know it is now, but I'm telling you how I grew up. You're supposed to treat well with respect. It's what That's I, sexist. Well, I think. I don't know. I've got a lot of work to do. You're supposed to treat everybody with respect, first of all. Yeah. Not just women. No. But, you know, but, but when I was brought up, they stressed that a lot for some reason. Like, why do they got to keep, you know, because, we, you know, you got to take care of women. You got to look after women. You really got, well, you know, they need the most help. You know, that's the sort of thing that you grew up with. It's, it, it, it's up to you how that woman's going to be. And I, how I took it, I hope I took it in the right way. Probably not. Well. Dana Lesh said uh, we needed more. A lot of conservative takes on this was needed more men to stand up and give Harvey Weinstein's uh, black eyes. That's just like me wanting to give women guns. Maybe that worked. Maybe, but not the men. The women need to give Harvey Weinstein black eyes. If Harvey Weinstein doesn't need to try to attack women. We need to make men not Harvey Weinstein's. I don't even know. My whole basically, if I stop. Being inappropriate to women, I have nothing left. I don't even know if I exist, but I guess that's what I'm going to have to try to do. I'm going through my phone. I'm deleting a bunch of numbers and videos and uh, photographs. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a step forward as long as women ain't being, if, if you acting decent makes some women's lives more, you know, pleasant to, to go get through the day, then so be it. Basically, all I was was oversexed, horny, inappropriate uh, sex. I mean, I was all about consent. I know I may have pursued. Look, I'm sorry. This is a whole new Dunlap. I'm taking sex out of my. I'm going to cancel my Pornhub subscription. Good. I'm going to try to be a new. I don't know exactly what my life is going to be. But I'm hoping I could use this. I'm getting turned on just talking about All me right, changing my life. So mouth. this is not off to a great start. But I'm going to try to. Is it my retconning? Like, why would we change me to be like a not? Wouldn't it be better just to come up with like a new character instead of making know. Sam Wilson? No, but, look, here's what I'm saying. Everything is going to be starting today. On this episode of the Red State Update podcast, Dunlap is sex crazed. Come on to women, stare at cleavage, strip club. What if I don't go to strip clubs? What am I going to do with my weekends? Sex pot. It can still be sex positive, even though, as I learned after Hugh Hefner died, that the sexual revolution and sexual liberation actually only benefited men. <sighs> Did him anyway. This has been a rough month. As long as he stays in office, it's going to get worse and worse. Look, I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. I'm going to try to do better. I apologize to everybody. Uh, I'm not going to. I think it would be triggering if I went down the list. But we all we can do is uh, listen, say we're sorry, maybe stop talking. It's That's hard to do when you have a podcast 
Why don't we just give this podcast to 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 women of color? If they want it, they welcome to it. I, that's fine with me. I I got things I gotta do. But what two women of color would want to take over the Red State Update name and brand? Well, um, they're smarter than that. Anyone with any sense w- wouldn't want it. So I don't know why. No, nobody wants it. No. Oh boy, you stuck with that. We got a lot, Jackie. You and I. What we need to do is we need to leave what. Whatever you think you're doing right now, we need to walk out that door, well, and we need to go do some work on ourselves. Well, I'm just going to walk out there and do greeting to the people. There's some people showing up. I don't know who the hell they are. Well, and my, my brother's sitting there talking to them, and I, don't, I can see him out of the corner of my eye acting like their best friends. Who the hell are they? If, if, if their best friend were him, I'll tell you one thing. Mama sure didn't hell know him. When was she have met him? And say whatever you want to apologize some more. Whatever you get is you got to do. I'm over, I got to go out there and see what the hell's going on. Hey, can you uh, uh, do what? Will you go out and get some of them Tupper? Uh, listen, hell no. Out in the car, I, I brought some Tupperware dishes to bring some of this food home with you. No, no, I ain't getting in the car. It, uh, the smell alone. I don't care what kind of whatever's in it. I ain't getting in it. Listen, don't. Go out there and make a fool of yourself. Don't hey. start talking about Trump. Let everybody, Jackie hates Trump real Shut bad. Him Shut him out. Shut him out. Don't be embarrassed. It's time to speak out. I, I, yes, I'm, I'm the brave. Jackie Shut hates him. Trump. Shut, Shut him out. No, he ain't. It's time to stand up and be counted, Jackie. Don't. No. What in the hell is this? Fuck Ambrosia salad. Fuck me, man. Hand me that. Hand me that spatula. Hey, hey, woman next to the spatula. Yeah, can you hand me that spatula? Yeah, just throw it. 